clear to close. Your real estate agent has said those three magical words to you and you are excited, but what does it all mean? Hey, I'm Anita L. Williamson with James River Realty Group and let's discuss clear to close and why it is so important. Clear to close simply means that you have met the requirements and conditions to close on your mortgage. Finally, the lender will stop asking you for more paperwork. Now, at this stage, your lender has fully reviewed all of your documents and verified that you meet all requirements for the loan and amount of the mortgage you are requesting. They have given you the seal of approval for your loan. You really are buying a house. Once you have received clear to close, then the lender starts preparing all of the documents that you will sign on closing day. But how do we get from the beginning of the loan process to clear to close as fast as possible there are a lot of important steps to get to clear to close and here are seven steps to make getting to clear to close as easy as can be the first is respond to your lender in a timely manner your lender will ask for a lot of documentation throughout the process so make sure you provide the documents that they request as soon as possible and yes sometimes they may ask for the same documents multiple times and some requests may well just seem irrelevant just keep your cool and give them what they ask for i promise there is a reason for everything they need they have to very verify all your assets and your debt number two only provide your lender the documents that they request. Do not over disclose any information. Three, maintain everything as it is. Please don't change jobs, open new accounts, get new loans, say no to new cars, boats, and RVs. No divorces either. <laughs> Just keep a super boring life. Number four, provide proof of employment. Your lender will need proof of employment. So gather all those pay stubs and W-2s. They will need them. Five, don't mess with your credit. Please, oh please leave your credit alone. That furniture and those appliances, they will still be there when you close. Number six, shop early for homeowner's insurance. You will need to get quotes and pick an insurance agent agency for your new home, so shop early. You can shop for that. Seven, when in doubt, ask your lender. If you have any questions or want to know if it is okay to do something from a financial standpoint during the transaction and the closing process, definitely reach out to your lender first. They are always happy to help and answer any questions. Now here are a couple more tidbits to help you receive clear to close quickly. In addition to those seven steps, have your lender order the appraisal as soon as they can. For the appraisal, a third party licensed appraiser will determine the property's fair market value which assures both you and your lender that the amount you'll pay for the home aligns with its actual worth. Remember, as we go through the underwriting process, underwriters will not only look at the documents you have submitted, but they will also further inspect the details surrounding your income, credit history, debt to income, assets, and the amount and type of loan you have requested. Working through this process is why it generally takes 30 to 45 days to close on a home. Following these steps will set you up for success 
to reach clear to close early and to get to closing on time. I'm Anita L. Williamson and I want to set you up for buying success.